Hello guys, just thought I would share with you this. I am printing some TPU. And I thought I would share with you some settings after uh, uh, trying to calibrate it a bit. So I did some calibration and uh, those settings didn't work out so well. So I just tried myself a little bit. So I went from having a volumetric flow of 2.2 to 5 and then everything was okay. I had a bed temperature of 80 which I used when I was printing PETG uh, but it doesn't really handle that well when you uh, print TPU so I loaded it to 35 and you can see the results now and uh, I'm just gonna show you the actual settings I used when I printed this so let's see uh, here are the settings hope you can see it so um, on this section you can see all the settings I have for line and layer and height and width and stuff and then uh, in addition I have set uh, let me see ironing is off the nozzle I'm using is the hardened steel 0.4 millimeter uh, flow ratio I had to calibrate ended up at uh, the best one was 0.9 um and then a max volumetric speed it used to be 3.2 but when i did some calibration it ended up at 2.2 but i tried to print at 2.2 and it just was horrible so i increased that to 5 and you can see the results in the background turned out great so 5 millimeters per second uh, square millimeters per second volumetric speed for D40 TPU is pretty okay for this. Uh, bed type I'm using is the engineering plate from Bamboo. Uh, bed temperature I set it to 35 degrees Celsius as I said. Cooling I have no cooling for the first two layers and the retraction I'm using is 1.2 and flow calibration upon print has been disabled that is like when you press print you have a, an option to hook for flow calibration. Uh, if you do that, you will sort of void any fl flow calibration settings you have set. And for some filaments that is like transparent or similar or not easy to see, the, the LiDAR cannot analyze it and do a calibration, so you get errors. So I, I did a manual calibration of that. That's 0 0.9, so I don't need that, so I turn it off. Um, AMS, of course, it's disabled because I'm printing from the uh, rear end uh, spooler and I have not used millimeter for layers I have used top and bottom layer is then three layers and for speeds this is something I've been using for a long time uh, I did decrease 25 to 50 percent because I don't like to print TPU with higher than 30 uh, millimeters per second because simply it is giving better quality to print slow with TPU and the, what you see in the background is uh, 30 uh, millimeters per second in real time um, and so all these are mostly 30 and then for really big overhangs it's 10 I did change the bridge from 50 to 20 Actually, it was set to 150%. That's way too much. So I just set it down to 20 ms for the bridges. And the, the slower the bridges are, the better cooling you get and the better the, the layers will stick. So for me, that was 20. And yeah, I changed uh, the ones you can see here. And there, they used to be 50. So I changed those to 30 as well, because for me, 30 with this kind of TPU is like the max speed. Um, I also have set to always fill in all gaps uh, in the settings and this TPU was dried for roughly 12 hours before I printed with it so in case you're wondering what kind of uh, settings I use for TPU when I print uh, this is it so you can basically see the the results here it is uh, pretty smooth 
it's low as hell though <laughs> but sometimes quality is uh, is uh, everything over this and and another, another thing I want to mention is if you see here in the middle here there is a hole I can show you in the preparation view see here when you print holes like this this is about how big is it we can measure it uh, there so it's two millimeters in diameter oh it's four millimeters in diameter and when you print holes this small uh, the slower you print it the better especially for the very first layers if you put up the speed on this uh, it's gonna ruin the holes because it cannot print them slow enough to make them precise same goes if you have like a letter or something you want it to shine through uh, don't print TPU fast same goes for actually any uh, any kind of filament you're using in my experience is that if you want to print something that creates a hole or surface like a uh, yeah I can show you this hang on hang on um, under each of these there is a there is a small uh, let's see here you can see I have a number and uh, and when you when you want to print a number this is actually uh, just an in, uh, extrude upwards and when, when you want to print something like this and it starts on the very first layer that's pointing downwards towards the build plate you want all the edges to be as perfect as possible now I've tried to print this with several speeds but I only got a perfect result when I reduced the speed to about 50 with PLA and if this was TPU I would need to go down to 30 or 20 otherwise it's just gonna, gonna be too fast for it to properly put down the layer before it moves on to the next uh, section so so slow down if you have things like this you want to print on uh, on any kind of filament actually um, so yeah I just wanted to share my uh, settings for printing with uh, with the TPU this is TPU D40 uh, let me see if I can find the exact brand uh, uh, hang on I'm back sorry for a little poster I just had to find out what my TPU was so here is the TPU I am printing with what you see here is the light green here called Fiberology TPU Fiberflex 40D it is a kind of a um, soft TPU and I also I printed once a phone case with it and it's, it's really great gives good results and it looks like what you see in printing here um, so yeah if you're into Fiberology TPU Flex 40D and this setting should be good for all of these types of uh, filaments. So I just wanted to share that and uh, thank you very much and see you in the next one.